child sex abuse is grossly underreported worldwide. And the main reason for this is universally the same. The need to protect the family and not the child from the social stigma associated with child sexual abuse. Many experts believe, and I concur, that between 65 to 75 percent of prostituted children have a history of childhood sexual abuse. Studies also show that in the general population globally, roughly one in four girls will be a victim of childhood sexual abuse. Sadly, oftentimes, the victim is re-victimized through sex trafficking. I wrote The Ghosts That Come Between Us to shine a light on a shocking problem that too often lurks in the dark and horrifically ripples through the lives of the victims and their family members alike. I feel a responsibility to bring such abuse to the surface for all to see in a way that humanizes it and exposes it to help achieve hoped for eradication. Ghosts is about a young girl who has a tumultuous childhood from being raised by a visionary yet authoritarian father. Growing up, Nargis secures her role as the family favorite. She gives her father good reason to anoint her to this special place, which she works extra hard at maintaining. As she thrives on the attention showered by her father, she innocently finds herself thrown into an incestuous relationship with him. Nargis is still a child. Of course, she does not know how to handle her life. One day, when she is about 13 years old, she kills her bad father in her diary. I hate him for what he has done, she writes. He's an evil man and God punishes evil men. Let him be swallowed by the earth, go to hell and burn eternally. She buries her diary under household junk and puts it away in a box in the attic. Now that I had killed the bad father and forgiven the bad me, I could be a new Nargis. I could finally be myself, she concludes. But, as you will read, the bad father never really dies. Actually, he comes back as a ghost from the past to contaminate her adult relationships. Several readers have told me that they get goosebumps when they read the story of Nargis. I decided to step into the shoes of Nargis so I could walk through the same streets, sights, and scenes that she did. Through agony, hate, and love. Through fear, heartache, and longing. I want to empathize with her and try to understand everything she feels so that I can communicate all this firsthand to my reader. Through self-talk, Nargis says it all the most brutally honest thoughts, and the most floridly distorted ones as well. As you will see, this makes Nargis a very relatable and likable character. She could easily be anyone. She could be someone you know. She could be you. I've been asked if I am Nargis, and as a writer, I take it as a compliment that I've been able to convey the character of Nargis so true to life. Unfortunately, my own life is not as colorful as Nargis's. She's certainly more honest with her feelings and far more determined and daring. On the cover of Ghosts, I chose a girl who's in her early teens. Her headband is defiantly pushed back and she looks straight at the reader. Her eyes are wide open so that she can see everything. Her ears are not covered so that she can hear everything. But her mouth is closed because she is afraid to speak. The girl has freckles on her face since she loves the outdoors. But for some reason, she hates being a girl. So she keeps her hair very short. She has a poker face simply because she has a lot of secrets. The girl on the cover of Ghosts is Nargis. When you look at her, it appears as if she's feeling what you are feeling at the time. If you're sad, she's sad. If you're pensive, she is pensive. If you are fearful, she is fearful too. 
Around Nargis, there is a clear blue sky with a stray cloud. This conveys that the world outside her head is a far better place, but not without its trials and tribulations. I'm sure you must have many more questions. For that, you must read my novel and share it with your friends and family. Also, please visit my website, www.bulbulbahugana.com and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. For now, goodbye.